All right, man, I'm gonna just keep it real with you, man. Uh, it's getting tight out there. The moment that we all knew was coming it has finally arrived. At this point, most dealerships no longer have brand new 2023 Scat Pack Chargers and Challengers or Hellcat Chargers and Challengers, right? And what I'm saying is those cars are no longer brand new. If you're seeing Scats and Cats on the lot, nine times out of 10, they're used. They've been traded in for something else and they're used. If you're in the market for a brand new 2023 Charger Scat Pack or Hellcat or Challenger Scat Pack or Hellcat, it's going to be tough because everything that's out there right now is either already sold and gone or used. So the time has come, man. Dealerships are getting real tight with these cars. Inventory is limited. It's coming up towards the end of the year. You know, it's getting tight. If you're in the market for 2023 and you want it to be brand new, you really need to go ahead and pull the trigger sooner rather than later. Let's talk about it. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Knockout360, here with another video, man. So you can tell I'm in a house that makes it a house vlog. You know I'm going down and come around. Let's get into it. Car content, car shows, car reviews, car meets, anything and everything car related happens on this channel. So if you're into that, make sure that you stick around for everyone else. Hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so that you know what's coming out and when it's coming out. So boom. You know, I'm in Charlotte, North Carolina, henceforth the reason I'm wearing a Charlotte t-shirt. You know what I'm saying? Let me show you what it's looking like in Charlotte as far as brand new uh, you, new Dodge Charger Scat Pack and Hellcat wide bodies as well as Challengers. We'll look at the Challengers too. Uh, all right, so boom. All right, so boom. Uh, 2023 Hellcat Charger Hellcat for sale. Now, obviously, we chose Charlotte, North Carolina, which is the biggest city in North Carolina. This is what I'm looking at here. There used to be a time where on this channel, when we did stuff like this, it was 23 Dodge Charger SRT, new, 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 new. Look what we're looking at now. Used, 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 used. This is a new one. Uh, this is a new slim body that hasn't been touched. It's been marked down to 89. At one point, the MSRP was 95. So you know they probably wanted 10,000 over that. So at one point, it was probably closer to 100,000 but they went down to MSRP and now they're cutting the MSRP. They're giving this at a discount. So for a slim body, they want 89. This is a Dodge Durango. They want 88, which I'm going to be honest with you for a Hellcat. That's not bad at all for a Hellcat Durango. Like you might want to look into that. That's in Kernersville, uh, North Carolina, which is right up the street. This is a 21 that's used 23 used. They got a new scat pack that's still in Gastonia. I think we sh I've shown you this one on the channel before. This one's literally still just sitting there in Gastonia collecting dust. It's new. Hellcat used uh, one scat pack. This is a Dodge Demon, man. Believe it or not, they've got a Demon 170 at Keffer on Independence that's just collecting dust. It's inside, but it's literally collecting dust. Like nobody's, you know, nobody has purchased it yet. 163000 for a thousand horsepower demon. It's literally at Kefir right now, sitting there chilling. One of my homeboys sent me a video of it probably two weeks ago, and apparently it's still there. But uh, Scat Pack used, this is a new uh, SRT, looks like a Hellcat, uh, slim body, and they want 80 for it. This is a new Scat and a new SRT wide body, and they want 78. So the prices have dropped, but it's getting, it's getting slim. Like, look at what I'm looking at here. Now, mind you, this is just kind of what popped up, you know, in my area. Um, everything's looking used at this point. In other words, the cars that you're seeing on dealership lots are trade-ins. You know what I'm saying? People like this one, for instance, this is a 23 Charger SRT. They want 81.9 for it. It's already got 5,000 miles. So that means somebody literally bought that shit, probably paid the first car payment and realized I can't afford this shit, traded it right the fuck back in. You know what I mean? Same thing here, 2023 Dodge Charger SRT. They want 82.9. It's got 1,000 miles. It's technically considered used. Same damn thing. Somebody bought it, paid that first car payment, realized I'm not about that life, traded it in. So a lot of these cars at this point are considered used because they're trade-ins. Now, I specified 2023 because you know, like I know, 2023 was the last year of the Charger and the Challenger, at least the Hemi Power Charger and Challenger. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I wouldn't do 24 because, uh, you know, nobody, ain't nobody buying no 24 charger. But um, so for 23, this is what we're looking at, guys. A lot of dealerships are flooded with used cars um, or low trim cars. So you can probably still get an RT. Let's see if we can find us an RT for sale here. RT, boom. Yeah, so I mean, for sale, you got to specify for sale. 
so yeah, I mean, let's look at it. This is an old one, new, 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 new. You know, so I mean, RTs are still on the lot, brand new, right? But the scats, let's look at the scats. Same thing as the cats. Uh, we got a new one here. It's a little bit better than the cats. Used, 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 new, 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 used. I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's a mix. So if you're in the market for a scat pack and you want a brand new one that hasn't been touched, you know what I'm saying? Um, there's a chance that you could find that. You've got a better chance buying a brand new 2020. And when I say brand new, I'm talking about, you know, brand new untouched 23, which is the last year that they came out. You got a better chance getting a brand new scat pack, wide body, slim body. I'm seeing them all. B5 blue, white. Uh, what color is this? Uh, what is that? The uh, sublime green. You know what I'm saying? Black on black. They still got the specialty package, the Daytonas. This looks like a wide body. That's an old one. Uh, you know, Daytona packages. They still got them out here. Wide body, slim bodies. I think I saw a swinger edition. So you can hit me orange. You can still get brand new scat packs. But when it comes to the Hellcats, it's getting tight, man. It is getting tight. Yeah, it's getting tight. So when you look at the Hellcats, used, used, used. This one's new, but this is a Demon 170. This is the one that we I just showed you right up the street. This one's new, but this is a Dodge Durango, not a Charger. This Dodge Durango, I'm going to be honest with you, that is not a bad price. I could be tripping, but that's not a bad price for a Durango. 88, it used to be 104, and now they want 88. Y'all might want to look into that. 2023, uh, this one's used, used, used. They got a brand new Hellcat Slim Body. You're going to see some Slim Bodies for sale. Uh, and as soon as I said that, a wide body popped up. 78, another Slim Body. That's a scat. This is a Slim Body. So you're going to see some Slim Body Hellcats for sale. But not many wide bodies and not many Slim Bodies, but you will see. You're more likely to see a Slim Body brand new than you are a wide body. But I'm saying all this to say, guys, like, you know, we're getting down to the wire. Now, clearly, these cars are going to be for sale for a while. Like, you're never going to get to the point to where you drive to the Dodge dealership and you never see a Charger or a Challenger, at least no time soon. So if you're in the market for it and it's like the price is still ain't right, you know, I wouldn't go as far as to say you're in 100% panic mode. You know, DEFCON 3, panic mode. You're not quite there yet. But if you are a very particular person and it's like, I want a black Charger, wide body with black leather and a sunroof, it's getting tight out there. Like I'm looking at this one. This one's a 22 and it's got 11,000 miles, which is nothing to be real with you. Um, you know what I'm saying? Nothing at all. Um, you might have to come up off of some of those, you know, custom options. You might need to be a little bit more flexible. Like I know you wanted a black wide body, but we got a red one. I know you wanted black interior, but we got red interior, you know, or we got cloth interior. So you might have to put some money into it after the fact and maybe turn cloth to leather or leather to, you know, red leather or whatever the hell you, you want it. But they're still available. They're still out there. It's just getting slim. But as you can see, the prices really are starting to come down. I mean, this Durango at one point was 104. It's 88 now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what else did we see that was crazy? This, uh, um, come on now, another Durango, 2024. Durango SRT at one point was 86 and it's got to be 66. This may be a uh, 392. I don't know if that's a Hellcat. But at one point it was 86. They want 66. They just want the motherfucker gone. 2023 Dodge Charger Scat Pack. At one point they wanted 65. They just want 58 now. Just take it and leave. Got another Scat. I mean, here's a cat. Come on now. 2023 Dodge Challenger SRT. This is a slim body. At one point they wanted 90. They're giving it away for 70. 70 G's. Just come and take the motherfucker. Get away. We don't want it no more. That's how it is at this point. Sorry if the screen got real bright. Um, yeah, here it is. Slim body. It's already got the uh, the black mat on the hood. Apparently, it's new. I don't see any, uh, you know what I'm saying? I don't see any mileage on it. Um, yeah, I don't see any mileage on it, so I'm assuming it's new. At one point, it was 90. Now, it's 70. They're just trying to get rid of this thing. They just want it gone, you know? They really just want these cars gone at this point because they've got to make way for 24 Chargers and 25 Chargers. They don't have room to have 2022s, 23s, V6s, RT, Scats, Cats, Wide Body, Slim Bodies on the lot. They got to get rid of these cars. A lot of these dealerships are making some deals, man. You know what I mean? Come on now. 
Park Chevrolet, which is right up the street. My boy works up there. Uh, shout out to my man, Jesse. 2023 Dodge Charger RT. This has got the SRT package. Um, 36. It's got 28,000 miles. I'm going to be honest with you. When it comes to used, as long as it's, you know, realistic miles, 28,000 is nothing. I mean, you know, that's not bad at all. 36,000, you can probably talk them down to 33 and change, 32 and change. If you're real slick with it, 30 and change and something like that. So, I mean, the prices are coming down, but the, the pickings are getting slim. You know what I'm saying? If you happen to want to Dodge Demon 170, there is literally one at my home dealership that I bought my Hellcat from, Kefir Dodge on Independence. There's literally one in the showroom that's chilling for 163000 You know what I mean? Like, they're trying their best to get rid of this one, but for some reason, it's just sitting there collecting dust. Obviously, 163000 People ain't got money like that. I get it. You know what I'm saying? I don't have money for $163,000 automobile. So I get it. But if you're in the market for it and you've been looking around all over, it's literally in Charlotte, North Carolina at Keffer Dodge on Independence Boulevard waiting on you. If you go up there and you call them, tell them I sent you Knockout 360. Um, but yeah, guys, I mean, you know, the, the, the pickings are starting to get slim. And the higher up in the trims that you go, the slimmer it gets. When you get to the Hellcats, it gets slim. I don't even want to type in Red Eye, but I will. Let's go Red Eye for sale. Specifically, I guarantee you none of the new ones are red eyes. I guarantee you they're all regular Hellcats. Used, used. So that's the Demon 170 that keeps popping up. I told you about that one. This one's a slim body. That's not a red eye. I know that for a fact. You, 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 used uh, Dodge Durango. Uh, you, 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 used. Let's see. Let me click on this one. This one might be a red eye. It is not. It's a 2023 Dodge Challenger SRT Hellcat. So if you're in the market for a red eye, like I said, the higher up in trim you go, the less likely you are to find a brand new one. Now, if you're okay with the used Mopar, then you're good. If you're okay with the Mopar that's already depreciated in that interest, or it, you know, the the it's already taken a depreciation hit, then fine. There's plenty of Mopars out there for you. Scats, cats, wide body, slim bodies. But if you're a particular guy that's like, I just I don't want nobody to have touched it. I want it to be brand new. It's getting slim. Hellcats, uh, red eyes, jailbreaks, it's getting slim. Now, once you get into the scat packs, it's a bit of a different story. You know, uh, This is a slim body scat. They want 38.5. Damn, that's a really good price, isn't it? Or am I just tripping? I feel like with my V6 in 2020 and 2015, I paid, I walked out the door at 33. And that's only because it had the leather seats, the sunroof, the Beats audio package, the sport mode, and the 20-inch rims. So I had like the, the premium motherfucking V6. And it was a rally package too. So it wasn't just your, uh, your standard SC or SXT. But I mean, 2023 Dodge Charger Scat Pack, it's a slim body. And they want 38 for it. Now look at what it was, 54. From 54 to 38, they're giving these cars away at this point. They just want them gone. Um... Once you get into the scats, once again, here's a wide body. And they want 58.5 for it. 58.5 for a wide body? That's not the worst price in the world. That's not the worst price in the world. I'm going to be real with you. Uh, Gastonia, they're still a little high. They, they, they don't want to come off of that 73. Uh, 63, pardon me. It was 73 MSRP, but now it's 63. Uh, they're a little stingy with this one. But, I mean, it looks like it's the, the premium package. It's already got the black on the hood. Um, you know, it's probably in the showroom chilling. So that one's been kept clean. But I mean, you look around 53, 54, 50, 56, 52, 50. There are still some new scat packs around. So if you're in the market for a 392 and you want it brand new, you still got time. But if you're in the market for a Hellcat or a Red Eye, good luck because it's slim. Uh, RT's V6s, you're fine. You know, I don't think those cars are going anywhere anytime soon. You're still going to be able to get brand new RTs and V6s for a little while. But ultimately, guys, what I'm saying is, is if you're in the market for a big engine, Mopar, Scat, Cat, um, Red Eye, it's getting a little slim for you guys. It's getting slimmer by the day. And if you want something brand new that nobody has touched, it's even slimmer than that. If you're okay with used, that's a different story. You're a little more flexible. You know what I'm saying? But... um. If you want brand new, untouched, still got the plastic on it and stuff like that, it's getting slim. We all knew that this moment would come when everything would go from new to used. 
or new to gone, sold. You know, we're getting to that point. But I mean, you know, for you guys out there that's still stacking, still saving, there's still time. I don't want you guys to rush out there and buy, you know, do something stupid, make a bad financial decision. Like I said, there are still new scats out there, still plenty of new RTs. It's just when you get to the Hellcats and the Red Eyes, it's getting a little slim. But the prices are coming down. You know what I'm saying? The caveat to all that is that the prices are coming down. So you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's starting to work out. It's just, you know, uh, the, the pickings are getting slim. So as always, talk to your boy. Now, mind you, I'm in Charlotte, North Carolina. It could be different for where you are. You know, whatever city and state that you're in, it could be completely different. But in Charlotte, the, slim, the, the pickings are getting slim. But as always, like, subscribe, comment. It's been your boy, Knockout360. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.